Um, so this drama, this definition of drama is really what we're playing out. We're all actors in a play that we call life. And we have been acting and playing our characters for so long that we've forgotten that we're playing these characters. We've forgotten that we've, we're impersonating these characters that we're playing. And instead of leaving the theatre after the show ends, we're remaining on stage front and centre throughout our lives. And we're all playing out these roles or these scenes in which we are a part of, we're the main characters in each of our lives. Um, but what I was tuning into is that we don't have to be the main characters. We don't have to be part of the drama. We don't have to act out these roles. Um, so the start of that is, and the reason why we don't want to be playing out these roles is because we're not the characters. We're so much more than that. So realizing, first of all, the first step is realizing you're not the character that you're playing. And if you ask anyone that you know, or even if somebody asks you, who are you? And usually if you ask someone this, they'll tell you about the character that they're playing. They'll tell you about the drama that's playing out. They'll tell you my name is, or I work at, you know, such a job, or I'm a mother or a father or a daughter or you know some other definition of the character that they're playing and really it's not you're not any of those things you're not the elements of the character that you're playing and I know this sounds strange but in truth in reality you're formless awareness and we have become so sucked into the drama that we're playing, we've become so um, entrenched in it that we've forgotten that we are formless awareness, we've forgotten what we are. And it reminds me of um, if you've ever used those VR headsets, the virtual reality headsets, I've tried them once or twice. And there was one time where I put it on and it was this climbing lane. You were like climbing this rock face. And when you start off, you're standing on a tiny little platform and you have to begin climbing. But when you look around, when you look down, you can see this drop off and it's like this big cavernous drop. And it's so funny because when I was wearing the headset, even though I knew I was standing on solid ground and that I was in a room where I couldn't possibly fall, I found myself feeling scared that I might fall. I found myself kind of hugging the imaginary wall um, a little bit more. And all those feelings that I would feel when I'm up at a height and I don't, I'm not scared of heights, but I would feel a certain amount of trepidation naturally. And all those feelings came to the forefront. And even though I knew that I wasn't standing on that platform and that I wasn't climbing that wall and there wasn't a big cavernous drop, all those feelings still came to the forefront. And it's a little bit like that when we're playing this game or this character, even though we're formless awareness, even though we're divine intelligence, we still feel the feelings of a limited human being we still act as if we're this limited person in this limited body and we're playing out these roles and feeling these feelings as if it's true as if we're um actually that character and it's the exact same with those virtual reality headsets you can get so absorbed in it you can get sucked into it and i know people who have played them and they said the time just passes by so quickly, hours can go by and you don't realize it when you're in this virtual world. And I was talking to somebody else who said that she tried um, a game which was like a roller coaster. And afterwards she had vertigo, she was like dizzy and she had to sit down. Um, so yeah, it's really like we've put on, you could say that our body is the virtual uh, headset. We're, we're, instead of wearing the headset, we're wearing a body and we're interacting with the world through this body. And 
all the time we've forgotten that we're not actually the body it's just the instrument or the vehicle the same way that you can get into your car and you can drive around and the vehicle can transport you from one place to another but you don't think that you're the car you know that you can step out of the car at any time and um, so the body is a vehicle which we've spoken about before but it is not you so how to drop the drama how to begin to see through the illusion of the characters that we're playing and the roles that we're playing and get back to our true nature and the first thing is to begin to question everything so begin to question your thoughts begin to question your beliefs begin to question your very concept of yourself and through doing this work we've already started that process so question everything and you'll find that when you begin to question everything that nothing really holds any substance when you really begin to question things and excuse me a question I love to ask is is this ultimately true so whenever something comes up it could be a concept it could be a thought it could be an emotion um when you're caught up in the drama of it in the drama of life in the um play that you're acting out and you're feeling frustrated or you're feeling sad or worried or anxious about something then you realize you're getting caught up in the drama and begin to question your thinking around the situation begin to ask is this ultimately true and what I find is the answer is never yes the answer to is this ultimately true is never yes because ultimate truth is beyond worry it's beyond doubt it's beyond anxiety or frustration um ultimate truth is pure awareness and this is really effective around beliefs that you hold um you may begin to question some of the beliefs that you're holding on to tightly and um, some of those I've spoken about these before is the idea you might may have a belief that I'm always late um you know there's always somebody who's always late and they hold that belief and others may hold that belief about them as well um but is this ultimately true have you are you always late or are there occasions where you arrive on time or even arrive early and if there are then you're not always late um or it could be I'm not good at and you can fill in the blank whatever you tell yourself you're not good at and it's this belief that you're not good at it but is it ultimately true it has there been an occasion where you've been good at doing that thing and another belief you may find you saying to yourself is I'm not able to and you can fill in the blank I'm not able to do whatever it is and again questioning is this ultimately true and when you begin to question it you'll find that there really is no substance to the belief that it's just it's made of thin air and it's funny I was reading about a spiritual master or an awakened enlightened being um who I can't remember who it was um he was traveling with some of his uh followers and he came across um, he went into a room and he came across a guitar and he picked up the guitar and he started playing it and he was very good at playing it and one of the people who knew him said I didn't know that you could play guitar and he laughed and he <laughs> said that if he is pure awareness and if he is um the universe that is putting on this body and playing out this role if he is everything and if he is pure awareness then of course he can play the guitar because that information or that ability is within his awareness because he is aware of everything and everyone and of course that ability would be available to him so it's not that he had practiced playing guitar he just picked it up and knew how to play it um so really question your beliefs that you're holding on to 
and begin to ask yourself whenever you start saying I believe I am or I am whatever comes after that really begin to question is this ultimately true so that's the start questioning um your beliefs questioning your thoughts questioning your emotions asking those questions rather than just buying into what's happening or what you're believing really questioning everything 